so i hope uh, my screen is completely sanjeev are you ready yes sir i am ready okay please go ahead okay so actually my company name is kata enterprise and this company was founded in 2021 mainly we focus on important exports of agricultural products Along with agriculture products, we have also diversified assets into software and architecture services. But in this presentation, we we'll would mainly focus on what are what are best is, which is important export of agro products. So, giving a brief about our company, we started out in India, Bangalore, which is which is currently the head office of the company, and. We normally deal with agro products like soybean, corn, rice, wheat. Whatever the country produces, we directly buy it from the farmers, and then we supply it wherever the need is. So uh, most of the countries which import from India and Brazil are China, Dubai, Malaysia, US, Canada. mostly asian countries and in india we also import oils and eventually the vision of our company in agro is to make sure even the biggest clients which we have currently can easily access the products which we source in large volumes and keep the price margin as they like and mostly as we are going to agro now we are we already have projects which are up and running which payment for us is given via bank instrument like an standby letter of credit documentary letter of credit and a bank credit and based once the instrument has been issued to us that is when we start the operation of sourcing the product which we already have and then we start packing it sorting it getting it custom cleared and then shipping it to its respective destination the problem that we have come across is the timeline and the shelf life of the product that is where the, you know, the shipping company and the packing comes into picture because when we are exporting any products such as sugar and in a completely humid climate such as via sea route when we are doing that the sugar cannot be exposed to any amount of humidity that's where even our company comes into solutions which is double packed bags which we put in in line it with plastic pp plastic So that is one of the solution which was given, and then we also pack it in jumbo bags so that we can have the shelf life of the product enhanced. And then opportunities, as I said, for the investors is we also have a long term investments in our company as our projects go anywhere up from one year up to five years. and then we also have you know, as per the standard operating procedures we also have to have insurance for ab project that it is which is 110% and shipping standards and the reason that our company is able to succeed is due to the high market value for the agro products in the market and the threat as i also told you which is the climate change the shelf life of the product and the new competitors of our company and also the ship timeline in the sea that is the major threat which we can we have and this is normally our business model which we have developed in a pretty long time which due to the time constraint what i would do is i can share this and then you can go through this as well explaining each and every point in this but most of the things are generalized as you can see 
So my main point over here is we just don't totally do agro products, we also deal with energy products like coal, urea and fossil fuels. This we mainly source from Middle Eastern countries where we have office in the US, Dubai and Brazil through which our sourcing and execution of the projects is done. And then coming to the market size, the market size and the market cap for the agro product is pretty large. That's what uh, the economy mostly runs on. So currently we are in at $200 million, which projects we did accomplish, but we would require the investors funds in, our, in order to execute that project. And I would like to show you two of our instruments that we have already received and this is in execution. So this is one of our and a letter of credit that has been issued to us for the face value of 12.9 million dollars. This has come from a Tanzanian bank to our bank in India which is Axis Bank. And this project is currently running. So the whole face value of this, if you can see here, it is 12 million nine hundred and thirty seven thousand five hundred dollars. This is one project which we have achieved and this project is going to run for the next five years where each month is going to be 12 million dollars per cell. And there is another project which is also upcoming from a bank in UK to Access Bank and the face value of this letter of credit is 15 million dollars per month. For agro products, uh, with this is this one we are going to export from Brazil, where we have an office in Brazil, and we also have all the export license required for execution. And then this is a standard sales and purchase agreement, as you can see, and this is also a signed sales and purchase agreement where the payment is going to be from Barclays Bank, which we are going to execute in the mid of Jan. And for this particular project, we would also require the guidance and the investments for us in order to proceed with this. And our ideology basically is, one, when the investor wants to invest in our company, one, because it's just already guaranteed by the bank instrument, your money is safe. And two, the execution of this project takes 30 to 45 banking days. And the third point I would say is if the investor likes, you know, wants to proceed with our company, we would use the investments priorly to finish the project. And then once the investor's money is given back, we also provide a royal for the project term line, for example, if the project is for five years, for all the five years, every month, a fixed amount will go to the investor as a royal, along with his money, which is also secured. And as you can see, this is also a signed sales and purchase agreement, where we have a standard operating procedure, which is going to start from January, as you can see here. And this is for the quantity of 12,500 metric tons. And this is a signed copy, this is also a signed document which is, called, which is under execution. And we also attach our standard bank, standard letter of credit in track, so that even the banking is completely sure from our side. And now coming to the diversification of our company, from import and export, we have also moved into software and architecture where main software we have, we have partnered up with another software company and currently we are dealing in projects where we are supplying or let's say we are actually making an artificial intelligence based attendance system 
for bescom in karnataka which the employers would normally use to you know, to enroll their attendants every single day and it is already running in two places in karnataka and coming to architecture we have started architecture we also have partnered up with a manufacturing plant or we can say which is basically made for its manufactures architect products or the finished products for example interiors or metal fabrications and such where it's also in bangalore and we have partnered up with them so in architecture we are about to start from mid of feb that is our current vision and execution idea so i wanted to keep it short and informed and i think i can end it here and you guys can go ahead with the the question Do you have any questions, please? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Rao, go ahead, please. Apart from uh, you, uh, who are the other partners? Well, as apart from me, 